These guys are only going to get better. And um, I think they're going to correct a lot of these things, and the defense will progress as we go along. There's a lot of change in this defense. Yeah. Lots of change. Uh, guys coming back from injury. So um, still, gel, still trying to gel a little together. Yeah. I, I think yeah. so. I think so. And I think, honestly, DeMarcus Ware is still trying to get conditioned to playing at mile high. I really do. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, because we saw him in that first game. A little winded, right? Right. Not, not so much yesterday. No, but uh, he's still kind of, like I said, trying to find his way and how he here. fits in here. Yeah, it is. It really is. And we'll see what happens in Seattle, which is uh, yeah. that's uh, cool. sea level, isn't it? It's, isn't I, there a sea right there that comes right up to I think near a the... body of water. All right. I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, not very good. See, so, hey, hey Nika, do you have the, uh, the photograph I sent you of our uh, Luis? Can you pull that up by chance? I took a picture yesterday. Oh, you did? It's... It's the photograph of our, uh, the, the kind of the uh, hospitality people, I guess, or the security at the stadium. Right. You don't have that? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I was going to bring it up because I was watching these guys yesterday. When you're a fan and you go to the game, they want you to be really loud, uh, you know, be, uh, you know, really cheering for the Broncos. That's right. excellent. But they have a great staff at my high. So I just wanted to, you know, hats off to them, salute them, because that's a tough job. They're standing up the whole time. They're out there in the sun and the cold and whatnot. And I just think they do a great job. If you're a fan, you go to the game. They get, everybody's loud and they're rowdy and they're noisy, but they keep it respectful. Right. And they just do a really nice job. So, hey, hats off to the staff yeah. out there at Mile High Stadium because they do a good job. And at halftime yesterday, did you see the ceremony? The ring yes. of fans? Wow, it was great. And I mean, very see, few people left. You know, it's usually a beer right. run, right? Most people stayed to watch that. Well, look, Gene Mingo yeah. gets in. Uh, one of the he early, was early. Yeah, he was funny. A, Rick Upchurch, who said he wanted to, the, the ovation he got, he wanted to put his cleats on and pads on and run just, back and just punt. go. Yeah. Yeah. And then Dan Reeves, who said it was probably the best moment of his life uh, being cool? inducted uh, uh, yeah. the Ring of Fame up there. That was great. It was kind of a sobering ceremony, though, Mitch, because usually Pat Bolin is out there. Yeah. And he's giving him the rings and he's talking about these guys. And Annabelle Bolin, Pat's wife, right. she uh, handed there. out the rings to, the, to those three guys. So it was a reminder that Pat is battling Alzheimer's right. and is not going to be at the games. Um, so it was a little bit of a sad moment for me to see it, yeah. but it was a great moment to see three of the best Broncos yeah. in history end and up on the ring of fame. And for the fans up there in that upper ring where they get to help pull up yeah, the, yeah. You know, the, the, the up, curtain yeah. and they get the name up there, which my wife was pointing out yesterday. You start looking around the stadium, they're going to have to come up with a different row yeah. because they're starting to run out of room for this. Right, and there's a bunch of guys that are going to make they it, should be uh, making it coming up. Yeah. I think Ed McCaffrey gets on there at some point, right? Yeah. I mean, you would think. Yeah, um, yeah so there's, there's guys that are going to be uh, they're coming up soon. Gonna, yeah. that they're going they're they're gonna to need more room. room. We, we need to, to build a new stadium oh for the goodness. Ring of Fame. <laughs> oh, there we go. 76,000 is not enough. Right. We need a bigger stadium. Yeah. Well, you know, it was interesting last week, I'm going back to the first week, and you mentioned uh, Bolin. And when they did the little tribute at the top, they had a nice little video piece. And then the cameras, they panned up and they went to the suite. And you could hear everybody murmur like, oh, he's not there. Right. It's the family. They were all smiling and waving. And everybody cheered for him. They stood up. Right. Um, it was nice to see. But it, you, could, you, could, it, it, you could tell it bothered a lot of fans. Like, oh, wow, that's right. It's that serious that yeah. he's not there in the suite. Well, we look, at, yeah, we look ahead. So we're wishing to, the best. Yes, of course we do. Um, we look ahead to Seattle. We've yeah. talked a little, little bit about it now. Um, the Seahawks are coming off a loss, 30 to 21. So they're going to the be Chargers. hungry. Uh, they're going to be. Well, we say angry birds. That's true. Yeah. They're going to be. They're going to be hungry. <laughs> they're going to. The Broncos are going to be jacked up for this one. After all the off-season trash talk that's been going on, it's going to escalate. I think this week. Uh, I, I bet John Fox tells those guys, look, don't get involved in any Twitter wars. Don't get involved in any yeah. trash talk through just media, focus. social media. Yeah. Just just keep it down this week. We'll, we'll take care of it in the building. Take we'll take care of it on the field. Don't get involved in a public battle because Seattle loves to talk. Oh, yeah. And Richard Sherman, I'm sure, is going to say something oh, this yes. week. He's got um, it. So I think what the, we have to do. take bets on what day it's going to be. Tomorrow, <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday. Probably, yeah. 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 Pro maybe uh, tomorrow because Tuesday is usually the player's yeah. day off. Mm -hmm. So they got nothing to do but uh, so you know, get on social media and play video games for that. and eat. So, um, yeah, there'll be some <laughs> stuff coming out, I think, uh, I think, tomorrow before the game preps start um, on Wednesday. Um, I think takeaways are they're 2-0. Oh, all right. yep. They made tons Wins of mistakes, which they can correct. Yeah. And I think they play up or down to their competition. They did enough to win um, in the first two games, and now it gets real in Seattle. And I think they'll play up to that yeah. level with the Seahawks. I'm not saying they're going to win. I'm not predicting a win for the Broncos. I'm just saying... It's going to be a good game.